Hello everybody, uh, my name is Artupida and you are now watching my officially official channel Artupida Artworks and you know that I'm using English now so I'm sorry if my English is not good uh, I'm trying to learn here I'm learning using English so uh, everybody outside Indonesia can understand what I'm doing here on my channel. Uh, today I'm going to share you some, some tips on how to work on uh, digital um, tips on, on working digital. Okay, uh, I don't know what's the, how to name this. I want to show you something about how to handle the size of the files on the Photoshop. Okay, sometimes uh, when we are drawing for clients, okay, uh, this is clients, and when we are send our files, uh, this is us, the artists. When we sending our files, we are using some kinds of zip files or anything, zip, rar, or anything. But sometimes the client is asking for the PSD files, which is this is the the raw the raw formats of the files. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, often use this for my purpose to to reduce the size of the files by using these techniques. Okay, I'm gonna open you some some files. This is the artworks I've been done in a uh, couple months ago. Okay, this is the Pacific Rims, the Jaeger, the Gypsy Danger, the artworks. I'm drawing a couple of months ago and you can see this is a uh, less there's, there's a lot of layers here okay. you can see the process on the on my previous video and sometimes when I uh, save this file or I'm gonna send to the clients uh, or clients want the PSD files uh, back in the old days, I'm just sending them these files, and the size of the file is so big, and uh, uh, it took for me so much time to upload the files. So uh, I can show you some tips on how to send the files, or to save the files, or to reduce the size of the files without uh, reduce the quality of your files. Okay, uh, as your information is the Photoshop using layers uh, on its programs, and I can tell you that these layers is will cost you this file size. So the more you have layers so you more have the size of the files and you can check here on the left bottom corner of the page okay I'm gonna show you something Okay, here, here is the, the the document size of the files. Um, you can see the left side of the this number is the actual size of the files, and what's uh, the number on the right uh, right side side of this number is this is showing you the number of the files with 
the layers is unflattened so this is the size of the flattened layers and this is the size of unflattened layers so when you flat the document it your files are gonna be this big so you can see this is so too, too many gap between uh, the flattened layers and the, the unflattened layers okay and so since this this gap is too big uh, I usually end up with I'm gonna merge this file or anything uh, but to reduce the size of the files I can see something that it, it's quite interesting uh, first make sure you edit these files on RGB colors because the more you using the the channels the more size you you will get on the files so I'm I'm, I'm always produce the files on RGB and when I'm gonna print it on uh, digital print or, or offset media just like uh, magazine or anything I'm I'm comforted to see my colors so the comfort to see my colors is placed on the last last process of the files so this is the first first thing you should use the RGB colors to process the files and then when I'm uh, saving this file I'm just gonna hide these layers these all layers but first I'm gonna show you something you can see this is the files the our files you can see this is the size is sorry um, let's say this the size of the file is 56.4 megabyte on disk and uh, we can save this file on uh, more small file by using this hide all the layers okay now we save this file you can see this boom look the size is now 43.1 okay this this method is this tip trick is um, I'm, I'm always used this trick when I'm saving the files to reduce the, the files uh, reduce the files on the hard disk so I'm having a lot of files and I'm still have plenty of the hard disk size and another tips for your performance computer is uh, to try to make the desktop is as clean as possible because the computer is gonna render all the, the the thumbnails on the desktop so it's gonna be quite hard to the computer to reboot so um, I'm always using only one folder on, on the desktop so I'm, I'm putting on the files folder on the desktop so my desktop is so clean and on the desktop is there are too many files back in the days I always put this all these files in the desktop so this is it got got uh, so many files on this desktop and it's quite uh, take a lot of time to load and to process the the thumbnail so this is the tips for today and if you have any question just mm, uh, put on the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe um, so I will put some tips and tricks about the shop again and if you want to follow me on Twitter uh, you can add mm, follow me on Autopida or you can uh, check my Facebook on Artipida. I'm using this 2A because someone is taking this Artipida with 1A.
so this is it uh, goodbye and see you on the next video bye